Have you ever gone to a chocolate shop and watched these artists create these beautiful, delicious treats with such intricate design and you think to yourself, wow, that is some serious skill. Well, with new technology, they soon could be facing some serious competition. Chefs are making incredible, intricate shapes of their food using sugar or chocolate or other uh, paste type applications. Take a look at this 3D printer called the Fudini by Natural Machines. Registered dietitian Mary Lee Chen says the Fudini is being used in high-end restaurants around the world, creating masterpieces that could not be created by hand. Even the famous Dylan's Candy Bar in New York City is 3D printing candy gummies. Currently, 3D food printers use liquid or powdered food material as the printing medium. Take the Pancake Bot, for example. Slim Gurnesser with the Pancake Bot says it's the first at-home 3D printer capable of printing pancakes by automatically dispensing batter directly on the griddle. When I see the kids' reaction, the biggest is when the Pancake Bot, you actually flip it, and that's when the final design is revealed, and just their faces, you can see how happy they are because they know they're the ones that have actually designed that in the software themselves. While pancakes and chocolates are delicious, Mary Lee Chin says the future of 3D printing is actually creating healthy, nutritious foods from things we'd never think about eating, like bugs and algae. There is a group that advocates eating insects for high protein content. Most of us would not find that very palatable. But if we can grind the insects to a powder and put it in a cookie or some other food product and then it's made through a 3D food printed, it might be more tempting to eat it. While eating insects and algae is tempting, 3D food printers and their creations are expensive and out of many of our price range to purchase. Same as 3D printing, when that first came out, people were blown away, but the price um, for a standard 3D printer was about 10000 But it might not be like that for long. And now you can get them under $1,000. So as, as, there's, as there becomes more demand, then the pricing drops and more people will have it and test it out. I guess the final question remains, if you were to see these beautiful chocolates and found out that a 3D printer made them, would the mere off factor of it all just disappear? For the now, I'm Annie Taylor.